Now, joining us for the balance of the hour is somebody that I've been a big fan of for a long time. And John Bowne said he had a crush on her when he was a teenager. Uh, but uh, Mary Lou Henner. And I'd seen her on 60 Minutes. We're going to play a clip of that coming up later. I'd, I'd you know, seen her in different the, 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 the movie about uh, Andy Kaufman. I had, but I heard her a couple years ago on Howard Stern. And he was, he was you know, doing these memory games with her, and she could remember it all. And she, it was just one of the best interviews I've heard. Because I usually am in the car about 30 minutes. I sat there in the parking lot and listened to like a whole hour uh, of the interview. So I thought, let me get her on the air. Now, I can't do as good an interview uh, as Howard Stern, and I won't ask as uh, racy of questions. But uh, she's also a GCN radio host in the morning at GCNlive.com. Getting picked up by stations all over the country right now. Uh, and I am just very, very excited to have her with us. But she was in the Total Recall episode of 60 Minutes uh, and another 60 Minutes episode called uh, Endless Memory. And I've seen a bunch of these, uh, very fascinating. And they did Endless Memory Part 2, uh, and she's been on a bunch of other shows. And, and uh, she has, I guess, what they call highly superior autobiographical memory. And I find this fascinating because I had somewhat of a photographic memory until I was about 30 or so, and it's not as good, but nothing like hers. I mean, if I focused on something, then I can remember it perfectly and vividly. But it's, it's hit or miss. With her, it's, it, it, it's total, and I wonder if that continues. And she's also a best-selling author on, on uh, rearing children and so much more. So Mary Lou Henner, thank you so much for coming on with us. Oh my gosh, what an introduction. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a fan of yours as well. And I, I'm sure you get told this all the time, but you sound so much like Charlie Sheen. Do you hear do you hear that all the time? I do sound like Charlie Sheen. Oh, so much like him. He's fantastic. I think he's a, an incredible actor. He's he's <laughs> he's great. You know, I never I think sometimes when I'm hurrying, I now that you say it, I kind of have a cadence like him. Yeah, you do. Very much so. Very much so. But then other times other times, I sound kind of like Rush Limbaugh, but I'm not doing it on purpose. This is how I Much talk. Much sexier. Much sexier sound quality to your voice than Rush Limbaugh. Much sexier. Oh, you're too sweet. I <laughs> no, it's true. It's absolutely true. Much more like Charlie Sheen. Uh, well, I'm friends with Charlie, so... Uh, he's, got, he's got a great voice. He's a, he's a wonderful actor. And yep. I, I, I got to do an episode of Two and a Half Men, but I didn't get to do it with him. I got to do it with uh, Ashton Kutcher and John Cryer and the rest of the team. But I'm a big fan of Charlie's as well, and I know his family. So, yeah. But Boy, I, aren't it, they sweethearts? It, oh. They're incredible. His mom and I, yeah, she and I have the exact same birthday. We were both born April 6th. So, uh, and, and my first husband was Frederick Forrest, who, and, uh, who worked, of course, with Marty Sheen, Charlie's father, um, on Apocalypse Now. And then... Uh, uh, he and I worked, Marty and I worked together in uh, an episode of a, a television. And it's funny, as I'm talking to you, all these dates are flooding through my head because I could say, oh, yeah, he and I did this thing September the 23rd, started on Monday, September 23rd of 1985. And, oh, yeah, we, you know, it's like, uh, like all these different dates come flooding through. And everything that you said in the introduction, like the 60 Minutes, you know, that was instantly uh, uh, December 19th, 2010. And, you know, it's, so it's like all these different dates come into my head very quickly. And so you have haven't lost any of it as you get older. No, you know what's so funny? I always had it. Even as a child, I had it. I mean, even at six years old, people would call me the memory kid, and I'd fall asleep at night saying, what did I do a year ago on this very same day in school? And, you know, what did I do when I was my little brother Lauren's age? And, you know, I, so I was always exercising it, even as a kid, because it was something easy to do, and it was kind of fun to fall asleep that way with that kind of meditation. But as I've gotten older... I think mainly because I'm asked about it so much more than I ever was these past two years, since six, two and a half years since 60 Minutes was on, that because I'm constantly exercising it every it's single day with people. Yeah, it's actually getting better. Yesterday I was on the set of Unforgettable, which is my show that's on CBS, about a doc, uh, about a cop who has my memory. Poppy Montgomery plays the part. And uh, we're going back on the air uh, July 28th. And so I was on the set yesterday and people were asking me all kinds of things. Oh, remember the last time you were here? And what was I wearing and stuff like that so it's fun it's kind of fun to to do that now i will never forget our interview today july 16. <laughs> wow uh, but i can tell that having this incredibly rare gift it's not just a gift it then becomes who you are because when i start talking about any news item or anything a thousand things that are connected to it not so much the date but but, but that too U.S. Sure. codes and bill numbers and things and, and other things that connect to it all rush to the fore. And so that's when I start going, ah, 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 because Absolutely. 
Absolutely. It's like I always say, you know, everybody remembers something especially well. People who think they have no memory at all, they remember something special in their, they remember something especially well in their lives. And I always say that in the jigsaw puzzle of your life, what are the hard edged pieces? You know, what it would help you connect the other things. You do it naturally because you probably have a very astute, well, highly trained memory because you love information and you love making connections anyway. So you have all of this completely outlined. You, you, you have much more than even the border of the jigsaw puzzle of your life. But it is, it's all about interconnecting and interlocking different bits of information. So that's the power of it. I mean, that's why, you know, in my book, Total Memory Makeover, I keep trying to teach people, no, you are, you can remember so much more than you do. You just don't know how to retain, retrieve, you know, receive, retain, and then retrieve the information. We're going to give out do. some of your websites uh, here in a moment, but, but what's the best site to visit for all your sites? Oh, well, MaryLou.com will connect you with everything. I've been teaching classes online for 13 years. I have 30 uh, coaches who teach my program with me. We have classes every month. I'm in the chat room. But also you can connect to MaryLouShow.com, you know, the show on GCN, or you can go to GCN. But everything, MaryLou.com will have the most information if you want everything from recipes to for how to find the web, the the, uh, the radio show and, and what's coming up next, you know, in terms it's of- It's all my, there. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it seems like this culture tries to dumb everything down and oh. simplify it all, trying to get people not to use their memory. I think the essence of freedom is having a will to be free and not lay down to corruption and to learn, but also to, to remember things. I mean, this is so obvious, it, it, right. it, it's silly to say, but to have a memory. If, right. if we remember all the lies of the politicians and if we remember how they incrementally take our rights, so then, then remember, the whole roadmap's there instead of living just right now. Absolutely, and if you remember how the advice of your doctor just made you stave off disease for a short period of time until you were paying customer again, rather than learning how to use your own body to heal yourself. You know, if you can start remembering things, it's amazing how you, you start to head off the red flags that are such a part of our culture. You know, I never thought about that, that I, that I sound like Charlie Sheen, but, but actually, <laughs> Actually, now that I hear myself talking, I do sound a little bit like Charlie Sheen, at least in the cadence. That's a yes. weird epiphany. But I guess with your super brain, you're then able to remember his voice suddenly and then put it together with my voice. What is that like? How many people have your gift, A, Okay. And, and and B, have you ever met any of them and what is that like? Well, they showed us on 60 Minutes. There were five of us that were in the same room meeting. And at that point, there were only six of us. The person who started it all, basically. I mean, everybody's gone through their lives having the memory. But there was a woman by the name of Jill Price who came forward, um, uh, approached the University of, uh, of, uh, University of California at Irvine. Uh, Dr. James McGaw is like the the grand master of memory. And he proved that memory is tied to adrenaline. He had already been featured on 60 Minutes, et cetera. So she went to him and she said, he said, oh, if you're having trouble with memory, maybe you should read this book or that book. She said, no, my problem is I can't forget. I don't forget anything. The med they had never seen anything like it. They, there was nothing in medical journals, anywhere, scientific books, nothing about it. So they tested her for many years. And then they offered the story to both 60 Minutes Leslie Stahl and to Diane Sawyer on Primetime Live. And Leslie, who's been a friend of mine for a long time, she basically said, uh, hate to burst your bubble. It's not that unusual. My friend Mary Lou Henner has the same memory. So they turned the story down and she and, and Jill Price went on Diane Sawyer. Well, now Leslie called me three years later. She said, it turns out it is very unusual. They've only found a few more people. I want you to go to UC Irvine. You're going to be tested on camera. So I was tested on camera on November the 4th and the 5th of 2009. Anyway, so I was tested on camera and then on the 6th and 7th of December of that same year. And then it took a year for them to do all of the research on other brains. And they got all these different other age range and male, female, et cetera, et cetera. So there was the group of six of us. They tested our brains in terms of measurements because they wired us, put us through MRIs, took about 300 measurements of our brains. And what they discovered is that there are nine areas of our brains that are 10 times larger than the normal person's. Wow. 10 times larger. I saw the, I saw, you would be freaked out if you saw the x-rays. It's pretty crazy because you see everybody, the normal brain, and then you see, I saw my brain and I went, oh my gosh, it's crazy how big this area is a few times. So, uh, but what they found is they have found six more people that are now documented. So are there, there are 12 of us who've been through all So you're like testing. an ex-woman. I mean, it, <laughs> yes. so it's a good mutation to have. You're like superwoman. Yes. 
Yeah, well, Howard Stern said, you know, I mean, this is like superhero status and everything. It was very, it was a very funny interview. But what's crazy on. is you were already an incredibly successful TV movie star, best-selling author. It just shows why you were already so so successful, not just good looking, uh, oh. but also very intelligent and you know, very bubbly and very electric. And then it just you didn't even understand how special you really were and uh, this far into your career it's like a whole nother area that you recognize how special you are once once other people i guess basically recognized it uh, think of how many other incredible human gifts are out there that just haven't been recognized Sure, absolutely. And you know what was really funny is that I used to talk about this in interviews and I'd say, oh, well, give me any date. I remember my entire life. Give me any date within my lifetime. And people would say, okay, what did you have two weeks ago for lunch? And I'd think, why, why are you asking me that question? That's like so easy. But people couldn't wrap their minds around this whole thing. They couldn't, people they had no idea what I was talking about until Dr. McGaw, Leslie Stahl, you know, 60 Minutes kind of sanctioned it. And the medical, uh, you know, the, the medical profession, of course, and the scientists, of course, had a name for it and tested us enough to have some kind of uh, explanation for it all. So they still don't know how it came about, but they definitely know that there is something different about our brains by far. What <laughs> yeah. area of the brain is it? It, it? I mean, is it in between the lower centers and the cerebral cortex? What's what's the area of the brain? Um, it, it's connected somewhat to the hippocampus and to the caudate nucleus, but it isn't in those places. I don't even know the name of it because they, you know, it, when I see it on a chart, it's all like letters and numbers. It's not even. Sure, I understand. You know, it's, it's, it's all subregions. Yeah, all these different subregions. But what was interesting is they took the measurements of all of us and the 12 of us moved like this among the, uh, the hundreds of people that they tested. So we all were in the same group. It was crazy when I saw the statistics and, you know, they had the, the 300 uh, areas of the brain listed in terms of like some kind of, you know, it looked like a logarithm or something. And so, uh, but you saw the 12 of us kind of move together and, and our numbers. I mean, it was really quite fascinating. And the, the testing is ongoing. I mean, I've answered over a thousand questions. You know, the initial testing is crazy. They test you on every, with every memory test they've ever created, whether it's number sequencing backwards and forwards, looking at something visual, being read a story and then repeating it verbatim, asking questions about it, color things. Um, and then you get into the date testing and that's really crazy. So they do all of these different dates and there's this kind of gold standard 100 question test. And then they find things on each individual person and ask us questions like that. Sure, so sure, let me be honest with you. I was never a big drinker, but I like to drink sometimes just to stop thinking because obviously I'm not that articulate on air, but, but just sitting there in a room, my brain uh, has such complex thoughts and things that that being sober is like being on a super drug or something oh and then gosh, it's I almost fun you. to eat a big meal or you know drink whatever so that i can 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 rest my brain uh, what is it like for you to have you know a brain 10 times uh, uh more complex than that i mean uh, i can see that it animates you and you've got all this energy to do <laughs> you know two two three hour radio shows a day tv shows write books i mean what is it like how do you handle it well, it's funny that you said that thing about drinking because people always say to me, do you ever have a drink? Do you ever go? I said, oh, you mean sake land? You know, it's almost like I like sake. So I said, <laughs> oh, yeah. it's like you go someplace else and then there's like a whole memory thing that happens over in sake land. You know, it's like, but I know what you mean. It's like sometimes you just have to shut down. Um, I'm, I'm not much of a sleeper. I sleep about five hours a night. But when I, I have two switches on or off. So when I'm out, I am out and I really sleep very well and very soundly. It's rare that I don't sleep really soundly for at least five hours, but it, it, it is, it's going on all the time, but it's also like a pilot light. You know, it's something, if I'm driving in my car and all of a sudden a song comes on, I can like scroll through every time I've ever heard that song from the first time to the last time. Unbelievable. Or I can just say, oh, well, you know, I'm talking to my sister on the phone. Well, not like this, because you have to use, you know, uh, headsets, but I'm talking to my sister on the phone and a song comes on, I'll go, oh, that reminds me of, and then I'll go right back to my conversation with my sister. You know, so it's like always there and it's available to me, which is maybe it's power that I can use. Sure, do the scientists reason. think this is the next level of humanity or do they believe that uh, small numbers of humans, because used to there wasn't seven and, you know, billion people, so there's only maybe a hundred people they think like you maybe worldwide or something, then, right. then, then maybe, maybe you've never existed before and until now? 
They think that it's new. They think it's new and we might be evolving to this, but they don't know. They still don't know. There's The testing is going on forever. Now, I mean, going on, as I said, uh, continues to go on. Um, they have more people that they're testing, that they're putting through what the 12 of us have been through. But uh, they have kind of been waiting maybe 50. I heard, heard 50 and then I heard 30. Oh, late, I, bet so. the, I bet the Pentagon's interested in you. <laughs> Yeah, you know, my son has it, but he doesn't exercise it as much, but I know he has it. He's 17. They're going to test him because they can't test them with MRIs until they're 18. Well, also, I, I mean, there's you know, maybe a hundred or so, a couple hundred, who knows, of people that have yeah. you know, like the yeah, super yeah. brain like you. But then there's people down, you know, probably hundreds of thousands, millions that just have more advanced memories than the average person. But as right. you said, anybody can train and develop and expand their memory and learn how to access it. Oh. Absolutely. And we've gotten so lazy. And not only that, I mean, everything is so convenient for us. It's all speed dial. And you get punished for using your, your phone and putting in a number. Now, you know, of course, you're not supposed to take your eyes off the road. But if you, you know, we've it's funny so you lazy. said adrenaline's connected to it, because if I can't remember something, if I hop around and kind of get excited, then I can remember. It. Stay there. Mary Lou Henner, incredible okay. interview. We're coming right back with you. Website's MaryLou.com. I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. This is an exciting interview. I want to meet this lady. Uh, in person. Next we'll be right time. in the next few weeks. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. We'll be right back. Stay with us. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now, that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. We're back live, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Ted Nugent's going to be with us in the fourth hour today uh, to talk about the whole situation with Trayvon Martin and, of course, the uh, George Zimmerman situation. Uh, there is a lot of violence going on. Mary Lou, I want to get into Mary Lou Henner joins us if you just tuned in, folks. It reminds me of, uh, do you remember Wednesday, April 29th, 1992, uh, the Rodney King riots in Los Angeles? It was horrible. It was terrible. It, and it didn't accomplish anything. It's terrible. I mean, the whole thing, the whole situation is so sad for everybody and everything. And it's just, um, anyway. And political correctness and groveling over all this and, and everybody fighting with each other, I think only makes it worse. I mean, how does beating up or shooting some white people uh, bring Trayvon Martin back? And, and, or how does the Klan lynching some black guy randomly? I mean, what does that do? I just don't get fighting with each other over what color we are. But a lot of people, I guess, who are shallow, uh, it just makes sense to them. What do you think about this race obsession by the media? You know, it's so funny because having grown up in Chicago and having grown up in show business, you know, my career has been mostly in show business. It, it, it doesn't have that same kind of, it, it, it just doesn't have that same kind of zeitgeist. It just doesn't, you know. And so when I see people do it, I feel like, where are we? Are we, you know, 50 years ago? What's going on? Let's all kind of calm down and, and just, you know, work together and, and not polarize so much. It's well, sure, horrible. it's the mainstream media wants to divide and conquer. That they want the polarization as a tool of statecraft. And in the name of fighting racism, they hype it up and make it the central issue to distract from things. I want to, I want to get into child rearing with you. I want to get into what you're currently doing. There's so many questions I've got. But one thing we're both involved in, I have InfoWarsHealth.com. You promote longevity products as well. I, uh, I mean, you're obviously in great shape. I got into this because I saw friends and family have dramatic weight loss, health, uh, memory. 
with the hundreds of longevity products that we have at InfoWarsHealth.com, but you're now promoting it. And just to put a plug in here, this is what funds the show to a great extent. Beyond yeah. Tangy Tangerine 2.0, now available at InfoWarsHealth.com. Probiotics, prebiotics, amino acids, essential cofactors, and more. Whole foods, trace minerals, antioxidants. Now, folks wanted it all certified organic, non-GMO. Well, the old Tangy Tangerine pretty much is, but they couldn't get it certified because of some of the sourcing. This has an 8,000 uh, ORAC uh, total score. The old one had 5,000 uh, and something in it, 5,745 if memory serves. This has 8,000. Ladies and gentlemen, you can get free shipping at InfoWarsHealth.com uh, when you sign up for auto ship. And there's almost 400 other products uh, they're on the site. They now have Osteo yeah. FX, Beyond Osteo FX. That's the one I like. I think that's a great product. And I think it it goes immediately into your body. So that's what I love about it. I think it's like, you know, I mean, because let's face it, I, I'm the world's greatest eater, and I still can't get everything from my food, unfortunately, because of the way the food is processed and the way the food is given to us. And I eat in restaurants once in a while, and I eat on an airplane once in a while. And that's why I think what Dr. Wallach is on to is a really smart thing. And believe me, I've been, I've been in the health business for over 30 years. 34 years. This year is my 34th health birthday because I got into it after both my parents died. My father died of a heart attack at 52. Wow. My mother died of arthritis at 58. Arthritis? Died, died of arthritis? Died of arthritis. They can call it other stuff. It, she died of arthritis because she didn't have the right information. And so I became this obsessed student of health after Absolutely. That. I have a family member who when she was 20 well, couldn't even get out of bed. And then got another doctor that said it's nutrition. And it's a autoimmune thing in your joints, and you've got to run, and you've got to eat healthy. You've got to move. Yeah, absolutely. It makes me crazy. And, and then now she doesn't have any arthritis. Yeah, it makes me crazy that we give all this power to a stupid pill, or we think, oh, let's do the fight on cancer, and let's do this and stuff. And, and nobody is paying attention to the power in the, a plate of food. I mean, food ha a plate of food has much more power than almost anything else that you can ingest. So it's very important for you to, first of all, get the highest quality food, most nutrient-dense food that you possibly can, a plant-based diet whenever you can, whether it's 20, 40, 60, or 80% of your diet. And do not think that your doctor is going to have all the answers because something that you do at least two or three times a day is eat, and most doctors have had absolutely no counseling, no classes whatsoever in nutrition. It's not even necessary. Oh, that's admitted. Exactly. Hospitals have the worst food, period, of anywhere in major studies. So, yeah. again, folks, InfoWarsHealth.com. There's also a toll-free number if you want to call that and get a free catalog. Uh, but the catalog's online at InfoWarsHealth.com. And all I do is I go out and find the very best thing, whether it's water filtration, whether it's books, films, whatever, in a free market to fund my political ideology of libertarian, populist, constitutional ideas. And that's why I promote longevity. And when Folks, go to InfoWarsHealth.com and get it there. It supports us and what we're doing. And then you can also go and sign up under Longevity at MaryLou.com uh, as well because she's doing it. She's promoting it. And yes. it's, it's not only about funding our other messages with things like this. It's about win, win, win. Promoting things we know are great. The revolution of health. The revolution of high density, uh, nutritious, plant-derived things like you get in Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. And it's really about goodwill. Win, 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 win. Infowarshealth.com, folks. How, how can you think? How can you? How can you live your life if if all the nutrients aren't going to your brain and to your other organs? And you know you can't. If all you're doing is spending your time digesting, because let's face it, we are stuffing our faces, but we are starving our bodies, and our bodies are so so deprived of nutrients that they don't. Nothing knows how to power itself. Nothing. The body doesn't know how to power itself, and so that's why it's so important to at least take these kinds of supplements because if you don't if you can't eat a perfect diet at least and even when you can something is missing so this is a great way to start well of course they've had the osteo fx that pro football players you name it uh rave about we're gonna be getting some of them on the show uh people that are going to have knee, a knee replacements uh, basketball players you name it they get on this miraculous ted anderson the owner of this network was going to have to have knee surgery that's why he said, you got to look into this longevity, and then family looked into it. I said, here, take these samples. What do you think? Right. And my mom, who's a triathlete, said, this is dramatic. Uh, now they've got the new powdered Beyond Osteo FX available at InfoWarsHealth.com. What are your favorite longevity products? And then we'll move on.
Okay, my favorites are OsteoFX because, you know, as a mom, I have a mom who died of arthritis and I feel like there's no way that we're going to get the right amount of what we need. It's, that product is a great way to, to go. And I like the Ultimate Classic as well. Those are my two favorites. And then, of course, I like a lot of the makeup products and the, the chocolate's pretty good. And I'm not even a chocolate eater. But if I do have dark chocolate, no dairy, then, um, you know, because I'm, I'm so anti-dairy. That's probably my biggest soapbox because to me, that was the number one change in my life, given up dairy products but i go through withdrawals i mean i know if i quit dairy i lose even more weight and get even healthier yes, uh, i mean i'm kind of built like ben Grimm now i, mean, I got uh, i'm not even really fat i just got big muscles but mm -hmm. but i'm addicted how, how do i get off of it I know it's the it's the dopamine. Um, it's you know it's it, it, most of those foods because flavor adheres to fat. So anything that's got sugar or salt, because let's face it, all dairy products is supposed to do is turn a fifty pound calf into a three hundred pound cow in six months. That's it. That's what it's designed for. It's a, for an animal that's got nine feet of intestines and four stomachs. We have 27 feet of intestines and one little stomach. So it's not even for the same animal. So now they take this indigestible food. We, we can't possibly break it down the proper way because it has the wrong hormones. It's got the wrong uh, enzymes in it. It's just not designed for our bodies. So now they take this food that's for another animal and then they take all the water out of it and, and put bacteria in it and then give it tons of salt and then let it age. It's called cheese and there we have it. A whole another food that we really can't digest especially even if we hydrate ourselves. So it's, it's crazy that we are drinking the breast milk of an animal that we have nothing to do with. Go, go, go nurse from an orangutan, because they're so much closer to you than a cow is, and yet you would never think of doing that. I mean, it makes me nuts. It makes me, and I know I used to be addicted to dairy. It was the one thing I looked forward to. I used to go on stupid diets where I'd buy a pound of Jarlsberg cheese and chip away at it all day and call it my 1700 calorie a day diet. And then I was wondering why I was fat constipated and had, had pimples. You know, I dropped 54 pounds from getting healthy, 54 pounds from giving up dairy products, eating a more plant-based diet, giving up meat, giving up sugar, giving up anything that had refined sugar in it. I still have, you know, things like agave and stuff like that. But it's, it makes such a difference in your health because my parents died in their 50s and I did not want to go that way. And I also did, wanted a quality of life, not just the numbers. I mean, in this country, we assume that people are going to be on 8 to 11 medications by the time they're 60 years old. 8 to 11 medications. That's crazy. That's nuts to me. And we feel like the last 10 years of our lives, we're probably going to barely be able to get, up, get out of bed or we'll be hooked up to some machine and we'll go out you know, slowly into the night, that kind of thing, but painfully. And that's not necessary. It's not at all. Well, I, uh, I was always a big exercise guy and ran six miles every other day and lifted weights and looked great, but ate all sorts of bad things, you name it. And then for about 10 years, I decided to just quit everything basically except for going on a few hikes and to work and just got really unhealthy and now it's been about a four-year process of you know slowly transitioning off of all that so i want yeah. listeners to know you don't have to do all this overnight just start yeah. by cutting back on things exercising some drinking more purified water uh, getting on the beyond tangy tangerine the osteo fx 2.0 i mean just some basic things like that and you will see dramatic differences here's an example I always have a cup of coffee in the morning. I love how it tastes. I'll, I might have a second cup a day, but but in the, used to I'd have five cups to be able to work 17, 18 hours a day sometimes when I'm making a film or something. Now I'll have a Beyond Tangy Tangerine or a Pollen Burst Plus uh, at like five o'clock and I get more energy out of vitamins and minerals Absolutely. than I do off of coffee. Yeah, and no, it's true. Well, we also there's a, a crash after coffee. But I keep, I always say to people, and this is what I talk about on my show. My whole my whole show, the Mary Lou Show, and you can really find all this information at MaryLouShow.com. It's all life through the prism of health. It's all about getting the message out that you can live a healthier diet. You're never too young or too old to feel healthier than you do right now. And it's all progress, not perfection. I mean, I've been doing this for 34 years and I'm still learning so much. It's progress, not perfection. It's something small. Do something small to make yourself feel better. If it's just walk around your block, if it's just read a label, if it's just make water your only beverage for like six hours, 
you know, and throw some tangerine, if, 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 you know, into it, whatever you need to do. But it, there's something small that you can do today, even if it's having better posture. There's something. Exactly. To improve the journey life. of a thousand miles starts with a single step. And we can either just give in to this toxic world or we can resist it and thrive instead of collapsing. But uh, larger issue is the hydrofluorosilicic acid they add to the water. They know what that does. Oh. The GMO, uh, where it kills the bugs that eat it, but they say it's safe for us to eat it. It's and crazy. And our children, you know, and then it's so unfair of us to give our children the steroids, the hormones, the, the, the crap, the GMOs, everything, you know, the sugars, all that stuff that we're putting in their foods, their breakfast cereals, their drive through foods. And then put them on Prozac or Ritalin when they yeah, act bad. And then we, with their little 40 to 80 pound bodies can't it's still because of all the crap we've given them and then what happens we get all of a sudden you know it, it, we, we say they have ADD and ADHD and then we give them more stuff on top of that it's so unfair I wrote a book Alex I wrote a book in 2000 called healthy kids that title was a, that that title was even available to me is crazy but in 2000 I wrote a book I was going on the road with Anna get your gun and I said I want to visit schools I want to see lunchrooms I want to see children's hospitals what are they feeding our kids because I had two little boys I have two little boys they were young at the time they were uh, five and six and I said I want to go visit I write this book my book publisher said we're not going to pay you nobody's interested in nutrition for kids I said you know what 10 years from now we're going to be talking about it like crazy because we're facing an epidemic our children are changing overnight I said don't pay me for the book I want to write this book so I wrote this book healthy kids and what I discovered about school lunchrooms about you know what we're feeding our children what's in the food how advertisers focus on an eight-year-old because they feel like if they get you at eight they have a consumer for life just everything I went through every age whether it was breastfeeding all the way up to college dorm uh, foods etc cetera, etc cetera. and people thought I was being so controversial in fact I had one one chapter in there that they wouldn't even let me publish because I was way too controversial in terms of the connection with, uh, with uh, you know, uh, the mercury that was in uh, vaccinations for autism and dairy products for autism and gluten for autism and other diseases and stuff. You're a trailblazer. I, I know. This has been my passion. I, I love that I got to do Taxi. I think it's the most extraordinary experience of my life, and I've loved all the movies I've done. But nothing excites me more than talking about health. And that's why I wanted to get. Well, that. I'm not. I'm not kissing up to you. You are a Renaissance woman. I tell you. Uh, I tell you. You are the model of what it's going to take to save this country. Because as women go, so goes the culture. Advertisers have always known that. And and I, and it's so good that you're out there and that you have been trailblazing. You also wrote a bestseller on how to uh, get kids to behave themselves. Yeah, I refuse to raise a brat because I think that this is a brat culture, and little brats turn into big brats. Little brats become these these obnoxious. Oh yeah, it's not just the cops that act like brats sometimes. The public acts like brats. The public acts like brats. The sense of entitlement, and and I of course see it a lot in Hollywood. It's crazy and it's totally indulged there. But I see people that there's like no work ethic anymore it's like people just take it for granted and you know just this whole culture of children who uh, I'll tell you a really funny story and, and I this happened like right after I wrote the book but um, my son was celebrating his birthday very young four years old and I said I'm sick of these birthday parties I'm going to have our own birthday party we're gonna play the old games that we used to play when we were kids so I start musical chairs right so it's like dee, 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 dee. the kids are going around in a circle and a, a little boy gets out it's like okay you're out he immediately ah, starts to cry and the mom says he's never played this game before I said all right fine he can stay in so now dee, 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 dee. another kid okay you're out Eh, he's never played either and I went okay fine okay you're all still in the game so now round and round I make sure my son the birthday boy said okay birthday boy you're out and a mother calls me and she says we don't play this game anymore and I said why and she said it's bad for self-esteem I said what about survival of the fittest what about learning how to navigate well, this has what been done by the social engineers is what I'm saying on purpose so that we're all a bunch of jellyfish who can be run over when you yes. go through adversity that which does not kill you only makes you stronger and I don't agree with a lot of Nietzschean ideas but I'm here to tell you that's true absolutely that's why I put a whole chapter in my book called the school of hard knocks because if we don't you know it's well-intentioned parents who cripple their children more than anything else they're the ones who want to be the the eyes the ears the mouth the, the legs so many parents carrying their kids to school when the child can walk it's like if we don't keep that's where self-esteem comes from oh Teach I gotta tell child. you I mean my Stand dad I mean I, I couldn't do this with my kids now I, I'll be honest 
My dad, I'd come home with black eyes. He'd go, well, you better fight harder next time. And my dad wasn't some macho Mr. Tough guy. And, you know, nowadays they have weapons and stuff, so it's a little bit different. But that's right. why people used to be tougher. And then also, once you became strong and confident, you weren't going to pick on people because a really confident man doesn't even act like that. And yeah. bullies didn't used to get away with stuff because they that's ended up right. getting their butts kicked. Nowadays... Yeah, it's a bully with a secret. There's always something in a bully. Bullies are the ones who are the real who are the ones who are in trouble. They're the ones with the sickness. They're the ones who should. Oh, I know. Every time I started kicking a bully's butt, they'd start crying at the end of it. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us. Mary Lou Henner is our guest. Amazing lady. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past. And I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area, 
millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Alex Jones here, back live. We've got the third hour coming up. I'm going to open the phones up, talk about the whole Trayvon situation and the racial attacks happening all over the country and a bunch of other geopolitical news this has been uh, distracting people from. Then we'll go into the fourth hour. More, I, I did four hours forever, and then I quit doing it, saying I have to do the nightly news, but now I'm going back to four hours when some stations quit carrying it. That's <laughs> just whatever. I'm going to go into the fourth hour with Ted Nugent, and if your local station doesn't carry it, Infowars.com forward slash show to find the free video feed, the free podcast, the free iPhone, Droid apps, the free newsletter, sign up. It's all at Infowars.com forward slash show. And please send that link on to friends and family. That's how we wake more people up uh, because it's about building an economy and a civilization based on quality, based on truth, based on culture. And you vote with your dollars. You vote with your time. You vote with what you promote and what you stand for. And there are a lot of good people in this world. We have to take the world back. By the way, uh, Drew Pearson, we're going to get him on the show. He's a big Longevity uh, fan, obviously famous uh, Dallas Cowboy. We'll put his uh, image up on screen for TV viewers. Uh, but uh, Drew Pearson, uh, his favorite products are the Beyond Osteo FX uh, that they uh, have. Of course, it's, it's new. It's, it's the uh, uh, Osteo FX is his favorite. And the Ultimate CM Plus. Imagine all the stuff his joints uh, have have gone through. And of course, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. All of this available at InfoWarsHealth.com. And there's also a toll-free number right there on the side if you want to call or ask any questions. But Mary Lou Henner is also, because she believes in this so much, uh, promoting longevity. You can also sign up at MaryLou.com uh, there in the health area uh, if you'd uh, like to be a distributor or just buy the products. You can sign up for 10 bucks and become a distributor and get big discounts as well, just like uh, Mary Lou. Lou Henner uh, has done. MaryLou.com. All right, in closing, in the next few months, when you come back from New York through L.A., you're going to come to Austin in studio with us. I'm very excited, Mary Lou. Uh, this interview went even better than I thought it would. I thought it would be very, uh, very informative, just amazing. And I think we have chemistry, as you were saying, during the break. Uh, so I look forward to meeting you and your husband in person. But in the three or four minutes we've got left, closing comments for the audience out there, Mary Lou. You know, uh, don't take anything for granted. Don't take your health for granted. Don't take your relationships, your kids, nothing. Uh, stop being a brat and open up your mind to a much bigger world out there than just that your sense of entitlement or what you think someone like your doctor is telling you. You know, question everything. Question, find the right path for yourself and know that health is available to you. It's progress, not perfection. Don't think I have to do everything all at once. I have to be able to, you know, run a marathon or be a triathlete or something like that. It's not it's and most of all stop waiting for your someday person everybody's got that someday person that they think oh as soon as I lose weight or when I get a better job or when we move or when my kid goes to college it's not that you to, it, the someday person starts today you know you are so much closer than you think to what you think you want so don't keep thinking that it's some person way outside of yourself it's right there you just have to tweak it a little bit and you have to you know put, put yourself out there don't just show up show up to play show up to play question the freedom is there the freedom is yours and you know I, I, wow. I went to Congress six times so many I mean oh, that's another whole show I'll save I'll save my Congress stories and how nothing moves there for another time I was there for the Child uh, Nutrition Reauthorization Act in 2010 and I was there for the food pyramid and it was crazy what went on there so just know that just because something's on your shelf or just because the government says so or just because your doctor says so question all of it who know that the the truth is out there if you seek it oh, absolutely japan just said stop taking the gardasil shots we knew they were killing people in the trials do you know something all right the gardasil don't even get me started on that can you do my, can you do five more minutes oh my god sure my boys right. are 17 and 19 okay and so i've been they, they've been from this generation and every single I'll one tell you, we got to go to break one okay. minute break come back for five minutes Get into the Gardasil story, and then we'll have you back next okay. time in studio. MaryLou.com, InfoWarsHealth.com, and your purchase supports the broadcast.
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. Well, this is turning into the summer of rage. I mean, it's starting to border on stuff that could turn into race war. Because let me tell you, if, if any of this... Uh, looting or kidnapping or killing happens somewhere where there's armed communities, people are going to shoot back and then that's going to start the whole thing going. That's coming up in the next segment and I'm going to give the number out and take your phone calls. Wayne Madsen's going to pop in with some of the new developments in the Hastings case and then Ted Nugent. So it's a jam-packed, jam-packed transmission. Mary Lou Henner, of course, of uh, movies and TV shows, Taxi, also well known for her extremely rare, we're talking one out of, I don't know, 100 million people, what they think, uh, super memory. Uh, she's with us, and just for four or five more minutes, uh, to finish up a story, you started getting into Gardasil. And for those that don't know, the Japanese government has basically outlawed it uh, and said people shouldn't take it. But uh, we knew that seven, eight years ago uh, with the trials were killing people, and it doesn't protect you uh, from the virus. Uh, Mary Lou. And there hasn't been, and we, and we haven't had the 20 year study or anything else. It was just like a pharmaceutical company's dream to start inoculating kids. You know, when you can, when you can start playing on the fear of the parents and you can get them on board, pretty soon these innocent victims are like lambs to slaughter and they're getting inoculated. And then first it was the girls and then it was a short range of ages for the girls. Then it was like a bigger age of ranges for the girl, age range for the girls. And now it was the boys, you know, and so people, parents were calling me because I have two boys who are 17 and 19. So they were in that sweet spot there you know, their friends, their female friends, et cetera, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, the moms were calling me. I said, do not, do not do this. We, every generation has something like this, whether it's DES or thalidomide or whatever. It's like there are so many things that happen where there is some trendy new inoculation or new way to treat something, blah, 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 where they're doing it for the kids and then that's it. Or it goes to the moms and then it affects the children. So to me, it was always a crazy thing. And I'm not at all surprised that Japan has outlawed it because it is just this groundswell. I and mean, the fact that, you know, I think it was Texas that said that you absolutely had to get it or it was a note from some other doctor. Well, it was a hoax. Like, Perry, because he got money from him and, yeah. and so did most of the Republicans and Democrats, yeah. said, it's the law, you take it. And now well, they're going, your little boy is a dirty, you go take it too. And then there's right. thousands of these viruses. It covered four of them. They say on the insert doesn't help you, causes autoimmune diseases, kills a bunch of people. And it's a yeah. test, Mary Lou, to I see know. if they can kill us and get away with it. And people line up to brain damage their kids. I'm telling you, it's sick. It's Crazy, and that's what I'm saying. That's why the, the real freedom is in knowledge. Because the, the, once you know, you can't choose not to know anymore. So you better do your research before you do something with your children. You know, whatever it is, I don't care what it is, and and especially something like this that has that is just a pharmaceutical a dream for some crazy company, and then everybody jumps on the bandwagon. Well, what but. you're saying about the food pyramid is groups lobby billions of dollars the last 40 years for that on record. I think it's like three billion they've lobbied just to, uh, oh. for what's recommended. They paid billions to tell you what you're supposed to eat. Like Absolutely. Edward Bernays said, you will eat bacon with eggs. And everybody thinks we've got to have that because they ran a PR thing in the 30s. Yeah, well, you know, I went I went to Congress. I was one of 25 people, and I was only one of two private citizens that was allowed to go. And everybody else was from some special interest group. I mean, there was somebody from the Salt Institute. There was somebody from the Lard Institute trying to tell the government that lard was better than olive oil. There were two people from the sugar industry, two people from the meat industry, and four people from the dairy industry. They should have a four. cyanide lobby, and, and where they just kill our kids with cyanide and say it's good. I mean... I know. It's like rat poisoning. People say, well, why don't you let your kids eat this or try this or the Gardasil or whatever? It's like... Fluoride is rat poison. You know I that's know. what they use on rats. They put it in our water. I know. It's terrible. And they, or, or toothpaste or whatever. Please. I mean, this is... You and I could talk about this uh -oh. for hours and hours Mary and hours. Mary Lou Henner. Uh-oh. It's a dynamic duo. Well, listen, <laughs> thank you for all the time. We're going to have you thank back you. very, very soon. Anytime you want to pop in. And you've got your uh, weekday uh, morning show at GCNlive.com. Absolutely, yes. GCNlive.com. Mary yes. Lou Henner, I tell you, I'm a big fan of what you're doing, and thank oh, you thank so much you. for the time.
Thank you so much. See you guys next time. All right, thank you. We'll talk okay. to her again very soon. She's going to be in studio with us. All right, coming up, your phone calls. The latest on the PSYOP. That's the Trayvon Martin situation and what's happening there. And then we've got Ted Nugent coming up. Stay with us. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.